So now we want to make an array of pointers. So let's say these pointers are pointers to integers. So int star and array and let's say it has three elements. So now each element of this array is a pointer, right? So array sub zero is a pointer. Also array sub one is a pointer and array sub two is a pointer, right? So we can use malloc with each one of these elements, right? So let's iterate over them. So for int i equals zero, i is less than three and i plus plus. And with each element, we want to allocate some memory. So each pointer will be pointed to a dynamically allocated memory. So array sub i will be equal to, and we want to cast malloc to int star. And we want to malloc, let's say each pointer will be an integer. So size of, and we say integer over here, right? So now each element is ready to carry a value. So array sub zero is a pointer. So where this pointer is pointing, let's say it is equal to one. Also array one is a pointer. Let's say it is pointing to two. And the last element, let's set it to be equal to three like this. So now let's print f three integers and we'll print these elements. So array sub zero, dereference it. I'll copy this. Now I want to dereference the other two elements, array sub two and array sub one. Put a semicolon, build and run, and we have one, two, three, as you can see. And of course, whenever we finish, we want to free these three pointers. So let's do something like this. We will iterate over the elements and we will free each one. So free array sub i, perfect. So the idea behind this exercise is that we have an array of pointers. We are allocating each one and freeing each one. And of course, we can use each one as a normal variable. And to make this code better, let's read the values inside a for loop. So each time we want to scan off an integer and we want to store it where these pointers are pointing. So we give array sub i. Don't forget array sub i is a pointer in this case. Build and run the program. Let's say we have these values. Press enter. Perfect. So this is it and I'll see you in the next video.